Hey guys what's up? In today's we are going to talk about new Kark Street Update 0.9.2 which was just launched. So let's jump into the video and see what's new this time in this update. Before we start make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for videos. So let's start the video without wasting more time. Okay, now we will go and read what's new update information is in the post. What's up drivers, we are happy to inform you, that 0.9.2 update is already available for iOS and Android platforms. What's new we've got this time? Controller support, the expanded control functionality will allow you to not only control your car during a race, but also navigate around the map and menus with a controller. The ability to set your FPS to a value from 30 to unlimited in the game settings. This feature is available on iOS devices that have an A13A16 processor. New mode, free drift. This new drift race mode in the city's parking lots will make the game even more fun. New club, savage, based on the new free drift mode. New buttons on the pause menu that will take you to the global map in the store. New car, SI3, and an updated model for S18. New body kits for M46, Z37 IDX7. New special offer, Nitro Sideways, updated interiors of the tuning and styling auto shops, fixes, the logic of the class mismatch notification window fixed, frequent crashes in races when restarting the race fixed, general bug fixes, we are waiting for your feedback and comments on this update, thanks a lot for playing with us, so guys as you can see this is a huge update, especially for iOS users because they got the FPS unlock feature. The new free drift mode this is how it looks. I think you have to drift inside the area and gain points. Also they have updated some time extra buttons in the pause section. And the new car is S18 this looks so cool and clean. Also there are some new body kits. M46, 737 and DX7. And look at the interior of styling shop. This looks so cool you can see the C70 and Hellcat with the body kit in the background. Also there is R32 chilling inside. This interior is amazing. And lastly, the most awaited feature controller support is now finally available in this game. Now you can connect your controller and play. And the rest is some bug fixes and all. So guys make sure you like and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. Let me know what's your thoughts on this update. So guys I'll see you in the next video.